In today's video, I will teach you how to make a bevel text in GIMP. Let's get started. First, open GIMP and create a new canvas with your preferred size and resolution. You can also choose an image background or a texture instead of a blank canvas. To do this, simply go to File, Open, and simply import the image that you would like to be the background of your text. Alternatively, you can press Ctrl O to open the file and import it directly to GIMP. Now, in the toolbar, simply select the text tool and type in the text that you would like to add it. In the text panel, you can change the font style, font size, alignment, and the color of the text. Simply adjust the settings to your liking. And once you're satisfied, go ahead and create a new transparent layer by clicking on the Create a New Layer button at the bottom of the Layers panel. Label it as a transparent layer if you would like to keep your layers organized. Then set the fill to transparent before clicking OK. Now, hold down the Alt key on your keyboard, then click on the layer thumbnail of the text layer. With the transparent layer selected, use the Bucket Fill tool to fill in the selection with the pattern of your choice. And once you're satisfied, you can now go ahead and press shift Control a to deselect. Now, go to Filter, Decor, then Bevel. Here, you can set the bevel value according to your preference, but keep in mind that the maximum bevel value that you can apply at once is only 30 pixels. In case of the size of my text, the bevel filter would be barely visible at the first application, but as you add more bevel filter on top, the effect will be more apparent. Simply press Ctrl F to reapply the filter with the same bevel value as before. Or you can go back to Filters, Decor, then Bevel, and input another bevel amount if you wish to adjust the amount of bevel that you wish to add. And once you're satisfied, go ahead and save it to your computer, and you're done. If you found this video helpful, kindly like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell so that you can be updated whenever we upload new tutorials.